ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. OCR TV presents the Three Wide Racing League. Nathan Young Designs B-Car Series 200. Coming to you live, Martinsville Speedway. We got 200 laps in the B-Car tonight. I'm Wendell. Joining me in the booth, we got Trey Landry, Thomas Morris. Trey Thomas, how are we feeling tonight, fellas? I'm excited, man. Uh, I tell you what, man. Bumpers are going to be banging. The tempers are going to be flaring. Uh, I, I'm excited tonight to see what these B-Cars bring uh, uh, bring to Martinsville tonight. Well, Trey, I know you normally like to say, let's get three wide, but I'm pretty sure we don't want to see a lot of that tonight because that's going to end in heartbreak for a few fellas. Yeah, yeah hopefully they uh, they kind of go away from their uh, league monitor moniker tonight and... Uh, just try to keep it civil <laughs> gentlemen we're uh, wrapping up practice actually practice. got that right this week we're wrapping up practice at about 10 seconds we're going to be live with qualifying who uh who, who should we be looking for to, to ride this pole tonight clearly Peter Short or uh yeah Peter Short uh Johnny Thomas uh Cameron Rich Paul Ross uh, all showed a lot of speed there in practice, so I wouldn't be surprised it came down to one of those four. The iRacing server resets, and it looks like it's going to be Peter Short off pit road first. Looky there. Watch him. Real quick on the left hand side of the screen, you'll notice uh, names with times. One minute 40 seconds is a placeholder. As soon as they put a lap time down, that'll disappear. One, one day we'll figure that out, Wendell. Uh, yeah, but we probably won't. That's okay. Graphics are hard. Graphics are hard. Got a lot of familiar faces in that top ten from practice. Some guys we've seen uh, in the B oh, and the wow. A series. Peter Short just destroyed his practice lap. 211. Currently provision oh. pole. That was his first oh. lap. Paul Ross said, no thanks, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Yeah, 163. Wow. Yeah, they're just they're like banging out these first laps. laps. Uh, if you thought it was hard to watch individual qualifying at any other track, try it at Martinsville. <laughs> uh, you just can't. And Paul Ross is one and done. Uh, I don't blame him. I don't think anybody's... I, I think it's safe to say I don't think anybody will touch that lap. I mean, that's, that's over two tenths of a pickup. Well, almost two tenths of a pickup. It's a 19.163. Don't know. Looking at practice times, I don't think there's anybody that was even close to that journey. No. Peter Short ran a 26 in practice. So. Oh, God. Can I say it already? Looks like he's going to come up a little short. Nope. Oh, puns. Stay tuned. We'll have puns coming at you all night long. Gonna be his number one announcer. I know it. Well, I know that number seven car was trying to be the story of qualifying, but uh, you know he picked up uh, three tenths. But uh, he's currently third. Oh, looks like the driver of the three car put down a sharp lap. With a three to five. Oh my. Yeah, we saw the seven have a few connection issues in Daytona that kind of hampered his finish, but uh, he seems to have rebounded here nicely so far. Kevin uh, Rich slots in, what's that, P4 or so? Uh, not not a huge shakeup in practice, just jumbled some names around there. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Jeffrey Cree. He's running around the track. And real quick, before we get into this, if uh, I got to put this disclaimer out there, gentlemen, hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't get fined for this. But uh, if you're looking for a quote unquote professional broadcast where they strictly only talk about hot, intense action on the racetrack where you have not come to the right place. Uh, we're here to have a good time. The drivers of this league are here to have a good time. And uh, if you're joining us, you're more than welcome to have a good time. We actually encourage it, Wendell. We uh, interact with the, the people in chat, so chat away. We will chat back at you. Nathan Velez up to P3. Indeed, uh, 
Mr. Trey here having a thing where he's uh, taking questions for the winner right out of the live chat. So if, you, if you've got something you want to hear from the, the race winner tonight, make sure you put it in that chat. Maybe uh, Trey will jump down there and cherry pick it. It's likely I'll do that because I cannot think of uh, questions on my own. So I need all the help I can get. Questions are hard. Questions, words, and uh, a whole bunch of other things. I just like to point out my chat's not working tonight. So. Oh, there it goes. Boy, that was quite the delay. Oh, we got the flying fin chatting away. He should be qualifying away. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> why uh, the flying fin is not taking a qualifying lap. I mean, he knows something we don't, Trey. Oh, Thomas, if uh, you could take that question in the chat, uh, maybe type up the uh, response to that. That'd be super. Ooh, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, our plate's a little full right now is the answer to that question. Well, you know, uh, I'm a fat kid, and regardless of how full the plate is... Could I always, want more! Uh... <laughs> but as uh, qualifying wraps up here, looks like... Uh, Nobody's going to compete with that 18 car. 19.163, uh, setting fire to the racetrack. Peter Short coming real close, but just not, uh, not quite there. Well, there's the answer to the question. Kevin said he uh, wrecked her off of four. So I tell you what, with this many cars, I'm showing 30. Uh Kevin's going to be looking to fly to the front uh, because it won't take too long before those leaders reach the back of the field here at Martinsville. Indubitably. Looks like we're going to do the... Uh, see if we can get a nice shot of this. We're going to do the driver's meeting. Uh, now, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to hear it. Uh, neither will I. But uh, they're going to talk about what they're going to do tonight. Hopefully what they're not going to do. Gentlemen, we've Wait seen up. these guys in action on the high banked two and a half mile tracks. You guys ready to see them on the world's largest paperclip? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, to Daytona plate racing. Now it's short track racing. I think, uh, these drivers that can handle these fixed setups, I think they're going to make their way to the front. You better hope you can make your way to the front, or it's going to be a long night. Here we are now. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a dull couple of minutes here. Uh, let's talk in chat. It's never dull, Wendell. Well, you know, they're doing the driver's meeting, and, you know, typically the, the viewers aren't allowed to hear it, so... To be know. fair, Let's you don't see. want to hear it. It's it's the oh. same boring banter. We got Hot Rod Corey Bunch in chat. Hi! How you doing tonight, Corey? Thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for taking some time away from of, uh, He already wrecked out of his sprint car race, I'm assuming. <laughs> Corey Bunch, tell Matt Kingston that when he wrecks out, he should also join us in chat to keep us entertained. Absolutely. Because I'm sure he's already wrecked out also. So. Yeah, because, you know, from what I understand, he's going to be joining us a lot here in the uh, in the coming future. Wendell, don't give away our secrets. Ah, uh, secrets, oh, secrets. Nobody told me. To... Yeah. we got to write this stuff down. Boy, we can't trust you to do anything. Oh, we got Travis Oliver wondering, how many people are showing up from Eldora Spring Classic besides him? That's a good that's a good question, Travis. I don't have an answer, to be honest. Ooh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna take the attempt to announce that or pronounce that name. Abbas mm -hmm. Ladakh. Tell me if I got that right. <laughs> Corey Bunch. Sitting in chat, <laughs> waiting on repairs to that sprint car so he can get back out on that dirt. Mm mm. I tell you what, guys, now we got just a couple minutes. What's your thoughts on uh, the dirt uh, release by iRacing? Out of the park. Well done. I think. Yeah, uh, you know. 
Trey, for me, it, it was more impressive that they released dirt and a new build, and it did not break the servers. Yeah, we, we kind of joked around last week that we might not have to call some races because the bill was coming out, but uh, hats off to iRacing. They uh, pulled it off flawlessly. I think the most cars, or excuse me, the most people I saw on the service in the entire time I've been here since 2010 was seven over 7,000 at one time. So hats off to, to iRacing for being able to pull that off. Killing it. Nailed it. Yeah, without a doubt. I think I saw actually one day it was up to like 9,100, which is just amazing for this because it hadn't been that in years. So everybody loves the dirt. It's working out great. I'm sure there'll be some hot patches here and there to get you know certain things sorted out. But by far, this has been the best new content they've released. Pretty much bug-free, dynamic track with dirt works amazing. So uh, definitely looking forward to many years to come of dirt racing. Real quick, uh, Travis and Abbas, man, we are glad you decided to join us tonight. We are less than five minutes away from green flag racing. We got 200 laps of beating and banging. They're coming at you. Oh, we also Hopefully got we'll Tyler some, Davis uh, coming in. Some great racing like we saw in the cup race today. Uh, maybe a little side-by-side -side action here, maybe? Maybe. Oh, I have, no, I have no doubt it's going to get crazy. And, uh, you know, Tyler Davis said the 410s are crazy. I agree with you, Tyler. Those four tens are a beast. Uh, sprint cars, I, I I'm starting to get the hang of. Those late models, though, woo, they're a handful. Ah, they're all fun, Dre. Even the Legends car. Well, I didn't say they weren't fun. I just said uh, I'm having a hard time uh, getting the hang of it. <laughs> Gentlemen, I just noticed something about tonight that's kind of interesting. What's that? We have 30 drivers in this race tonight. Nike. Holy cow. Yeah, and that's what I was I was what I was alluding to earlier. You got uh Kevin Flint, Finn who uh won last week's race starting tail end Charlie on the field tonight. He's going to have to hustle it to get up there to avoid going a lap down early. Well, we saw that. Well, anyone who's done a short track race knows that you start that part back, you're already half a lap down. So either you're going to bank on getting lapped and hope, hopefully you can get it back, or you're going to have to maybe move a few people out of the way. little chrome horn, as they say. Yeah, we always know there's chaos here in these short tracks, and you hope, uh, you know, while you're trying to make your way to the front uh, back there starting 30th, that you're not caught up in somebody else's mess. Well, I guess I didn't. I didn't think about this either. If there is a early enough caution to where the people feel like they need to pit, that's your time to gamble. Maybe take two. Maybe don't pit at all and try and get that track position back. Yeah, that's a good point, Thomas. Uh, you're back there. Uh, I think your strategy is do what everybody else doesn't and try to gain that track position because it is very important uh, to have that uh, here at Martinsville. Without a doubt, it'll be in a bottom line fever, I'm pretty sure. Oh, gentlemen, we got Kyle Hanshaw wishing us the Lux. We got Johnny Thomas. He said, go JTR. Pretty sure he's saying, go Johnny Thomas racing. We got an Eisentech shout out. Oh, Drew's not with us tonight. Oh. Drew, maybe, yeah, one of them, just, maybe one of them boys will bring it home. I just noticed that. I guess Must you should have known, Trey. Everybody was getting on pit lane a little too smooth. Right. Uh, apparently he ate too many hot dogs. Can't fit in the fire suit. He's going to have to sit this one out. Whew, I don't blame you. I eat more than two or three of those. You will have a hard time. Wait, wait, wait. Tony Stewart? <laughs> no? That was Whoppers. So. Oh, oh, okay. And emotional here. distress. We're less than two minutes away from gridding these boys up, gentlemen. Speaking of Whoppers, man, did y'all see Chad Brown's uh, number 64 Ooh, machine? Oh, yeah. Man, that car makes me hungry. Well, between He's his, still doing the his... two Whoppers for $10? Oh, yes. yeah. I meant to correct you guys on that. It's not two Whopper. It's two Whopper meals. Oh, wow. And you get fries and drinks with the that. The whole gentlemen. meal. Jeez. Yeah. Here I am eating a $7 chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Jeez. 
Although I don't, I don't know about where you guys live, but where I live, Burger King is not exactly uh, consumer friendly, if you will. I mean, I might have to double check the bag before I pull away from the window, but. Oh, we got Cameron's. We got Cameron's girlfriend in here tonight. She's wishing him luck. Go, Cameron. 77 car tonight. I believe he's sharing that effort with Drew, apparently. Yeah, he'll be rolling off P4, Jessica. So keep an eye out. Uh, an unchartered car. Interesting. Even more interesting. We got a bunch of rookies with us tonight. Yeah, that's a the 92, the 39 top 10 qualifying runs. Yeah, we got uh, Peter Short, Daniel Sanal, we got David Wilson, Eric Mickey, uh, Kyle Hanshaw, and Taylor Wood. Looks like uh, Andrew Mickey decided to join tonight. And also uh, C.D. Arbaugh. I love that dude's name, man. C.D. Arbaugh. It is a solid not like name. That? That's like a southern race car driver's name right there. C.D. Arbaugh. It is. Deep. And he's from the Mid South Club, so. Right on. I don't remember what states those are off the top of my head, but we're just going to assume it's in the Middle South region. One of them. Well, cars should be gridding any moment now. Like four seconds. Yeah, and as soon as they do, we're going to smash your faces with a grid. Mm. Carefully, carefully, though. Very carefully. Oh, and it looks like it has begun. Gentlemen, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Popping them with the grid. Except that is not the right grid. Let's do it this Once way. Again. Yeah. We got the Nathan Young Designs grid coming at you. We got Paul Ross. He's riding pole tonight in the 18. With a 19.163 setting the track on fire with rookie Peter Short. Rolling off P2 in the 33. Rolling off P3, we got Nathan Velez, the man who had pretty much no luck at Daytona with one of the uh, best best cars I like. And outside pole, well, outside pole, wow, I'm already I'm already losing it. Little outside of him, Cameron Rich, who uh, looking to get a good finish in here. And starting rounding out top five, and at number seven is uh, Jess Story to his outside P6, Daniel Sanal. P7 belongs to rookie David Wilson in the 39 with Tanner Sharp in that sharp number 3 rolling off P8. Rolling off P9, the rookie Phenom, maybe, we'll see tonight. Eric Mickey for Bombshell Motorsports, and outside of him, Rusty Webb rolling off P10. Alright, starting P11th is uh, team owner Johnny Thomas, and to his outside uh, in that number 8 is uh, Richard Lafferty. Right, gentlemen, Mike Stevens in the 63 car. He owns P13 tonight with Carlos Acosta in the two. He's going to roll off P14. And rolling off P15, we have Matt Hackenthorne in the 12, who uh, I believe we all remember how he got taken out of Daytona last week with a little pit lane miscue. Looking to rebound from that and rolling off P16, Richard Hines. Starting 17th is uh, Brent Miller. Starting P18th is Kyle Hanshaw. We got Corey Lindsay. We got the man, the myth, the legend. The 90 car. He's 19th tonight. He's uh, he's going to be looking to make his way forward with uh, Jeffrey Acree rolling off P20. And one of our rookies who qualified a little deeper in the field, Taylor Wood, and outside of him, Cody Wright. And starting 23rd in that Burger King machine. Chad Brown, 24th, is J.D. Cooper. Wade Lear. He's going to bring that 07 to the 25th starting position with Andrew Mickey, another rookie. Oh, man, two Mickeys. Woo. He's rolling up 26 in the 86. And rolling up P27, Stephen Cruz, P28, Zach Trevino. And when do you run up to the rest of the grid here, please? Oh, we have two laps here. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got uh, straight to green. I was like, that's going to be a heartbreak. The CD Arbaugh start 29th. Last car to take time. Our last two drivers start 30th and 31st is Kevin Finn and Nathan Young. I was because Kevin Finn did try and take a time. Just couldn't get it in. All right, gentlemen. We got, uh, 
We're going to have a little bit of difficulty keeping all these cars in shot tonight, <laughs> but uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Pace cars off. We got them. Let's see if the old experience of Paul Ross is going to get it done here tonight, Wendell. Here it is. Pace cars down. Green flags out. They're gone. Good jump. Good jump for the. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, I thought the 33 bottom. could have shut the door there. Oh. Thought he had him clear, Trey, which he is now, but it, it kind of waited to wait, make that turn in. Yeah, it looked like uh, that car behind him wanted to stick his nose to the inside and make it three <laughs> wide. It's, uh, three wide again. It's crazy. Three wide again. Well, I said let's not get three wide, but they clearly don't listen to us. We got him, and there's a whole bunch of cars through this field. It is so tough to keep <laughs> them all in shot. Surprise, surprise. Outside groove, not where you want to be. No. 92 runs wide, gonna let him roll by here. We're gonna throw a block. No, eight's gonna get by. Oh, no one's cutting that 92 a break. 88 just stuffs it right in the open hole. Yeah, it looks like 87 stuck on the outside as well. And Johnny Thomas rolling underneath the two here, maybe? Trying to. I don't know, uh, we didn't really hype this up a lot in pre-race window and train, but these B cars are not known for turning very well in low speed corners. No. So this is uh, quite no. a challenge for this track. You know, and I know these two these guys too, uh, getting some laps in these tires. These cars get a little free coming off the corners. Yeah, this may not be a cup car, but they still have a lot of uh ways under that hood to get them up off the corner. It's like the eighty eight of Rusty Webb had to uh take a base of maneuvers right there to Smashing the 92. Oh, we got a got CDR bar in trouble. Uh, no caution. Front stretch. No caution. Ooh, that's gonna cause a little. Oh, he's in the. Oh, doing a smart thing, getting out of the way. Absolutely, that's a good call on his part. You know, we like to see that. That's 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 uh, harder than you think here, Wendell. You know how tight this track is. When you have a mistake, you can't even get turned around in time. You guys smash on track. Hey, yellow. Psych for it's Andrew, Andrew Mickey. Mickey. And as I said, turning around very hard here. Yeah, on like the front I, stretch. Hey, got some laps on these tires, man. Just lost it coming off turn four, spun it around into that inside wall. And uh, this time it brings out the yellow. Yeah, he was just making a pretty easy pass there, and it just came around on him. Uh, you know, we saw it all throughout practice. He is going to lose a lap here, but uh, we saw it all throughout oh, yeah. practice. It's not hard to do. Luckily, he got spun around easier than a lot of places. In the corner, it's a little bit tougher to get spun around because of uh, the banking and getting backed up. Well, we're going to see if we get any gamblers here. We're going to restack them. We're going to do this all over again. We're going to do it all night long. Get the 12 coming down pit lane. A little nose damage. That hacking thorn might have been hacking through the field a little too quickly. See, the leaders are going to come by. I, I don't... I don't feel like we're going to have anybody come. No, it's a little too early. One thing you got to be careful here, too, Wendell, 30 cards. If you pit from the back, you can't take four tires and get out without losing a lap. No, no. That's that two-tire special for you. I guess two's better than one, but, you know. Yes, without a doubt, because I've took one before. <laughs> Ended in heartbreak. It's like the only taker we're going to have this time by is going to be Eric Andrew Mickey. We'll uh, see how that goes. Actually, All a right. little little glitch, too, I'm going to bring up, because I experienced it myself Thursday night racing here. Just because you beat the pace car out, sometimes it will still give you the close pits black flag. So you kind of have to be leery of that and make sure you get out with enough time on the pace car. Oh, real quick, we got somebody tooting our horn. We got Hugo in chat, and I quote, best announcers I've ever heard. Hugo, we love you for that, man. We appreciate you, bud. Make sure you hit that subscribe button there, uh, Hugo. Uh, love to have you join us every week. Yeah, because we man. will most certainly be here every week. Wendell, I think a lot of people need to update their sound systems. So, right? <laughs> yeah, well... I don't know. Maybe headphones. I don't. We're not. We're not that great. Well, I mean, you know, there there are other announcers that aren't uh, 
quite as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, desirable? Well, possibly. Yeah. I'm just trying to channel my inner Mike Joy tonight, because he was on fire today. Oh, as long as we aren't channeling anything related to DW, we are Ooh. good to go. No, thanks. We're lights out on the pace car. We're going to stack them up. Did lose a lap there. No, I'm sorry. That's uh, the 97 lost a lap there. We're going to stack them up too wide. And just to uh, give an update on Kevin Finn, started 30th in the field. He's already made his way up to P22, so That's he's looking to good. get this thing going. Yeah. All right, boys. Pace car is down. Keep an eye on that 33 this time. He got a good jump, but he was very hesitant on which lane to get in. They're green. Slow again. Well, they were waiting for the very last minute. Ooh, nope, not. Uh, 48 cut him a big break there. Yeah, he did. Uh, that 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, 48 goes spinning. Josh, Josh. What did they say about cutting people? stacking them up back there. Kevin Finn stacking involved. 23. Oh. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate for Kevin Finn. J.D. Cooper. Uh, yeah, that kind of looked like a little uh, product of short track racing there. It looked like a little door check from the 77 on that, uh, I believe it was the 43 car. Oh, that looks like the, uh, with the 14 and the 23, they were, uh, whew. Yeah, it looked like the 48 and the 77, kind of you know, typical Martinsville. But you'd say, oh yeah, well, wow, yeah, that 14 and 23 definitely... Not gonna, yeah. not gonna their nights any. 14 just hanging out on the outside line. 23 is not doing something. I don't even know what you call that. But uh, won't be any winner winner chicken dinner for the 23 car tonight. I could, I've just said it though. He gave the 33 a break, the 48 that is, and it ended up biting him in the butt here. If he maybe would have, you know, different position, different spot by not letting the 33 go, but then he ends up getting uh, pretty much totaled here. Yeah, that's a pretty big hit. He had those two cars sliding into him as well. Also, we saw his car at Daytona take a good many hits, and he still somehow was in the lead pack. But, you know, we we talked about this, uh, you know, at the beginning of the broadcast. You know, Matt Flynn got caught up into that. You know, we mentioned that's the danger of coming up through the back of the field back there, uh, getting caught up in somebody else's mess, and that's what happened to him. And uh, he might be done for the night. Yeah, I would venture to guess that 14 is probably done because he towed out. And we know pitting here or towing here is at least a lap, if not two, oh, even under yellow. way more than that. Real quick, while we're under caution, we got Donnie Donowitz coming in. He's seconding, he's seconding Hugo's comment. Best announcers, he just subscribed. Hugo hit the subscribe button. We appreciate you, fellas. And then we got a Sorry. special treat in chat, gentlemen. We got our favorite Canadian, our favorite Canadian, Matt, the Hot Rod Kingston. Racing back to the line. <laughs> Speaking of racing back to the line, how'd your dirt race go, Matt? <laughs> can I sum it up for him already? I think I can do it. No, oh, please go ahead. Green flag. Oh, geez, I'm in We're it. We're in it. Golly gee, bum. Gosh darn Canadians. We're going to be working lab number 18 under caution here. we got a whole bunch to go. I would do the math, but as we already know, math is hard. But uh, lights out on the paid scar. We're going to stack them up and do it all over again. Man, I wish our intern was here, man. I had to fill up my coffee cup. Oh, isn't that just a pain? You know, I, for I forgot to make coffee. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, You're a hurt puppy tonight gonna be a long night but we're gonna make it happen we got pace car down Let's try this again they're rounding three and now four 18 he's gone the rest of them a little bit try to catch a bit bigger jump that time 77 read it perfect yeah that 77 car got a good jump he's gonna make that move to p2 Can't quite uh, clear him though it's gonna yeah i think 33 is smart oh we got a stacking up in turn one here Big stack up, and there it is oh, again. Oh, yeah, wow. Big check up in three. We got. Give me the numbers. Good question. Looks like maybe, uh, Hackathon. We got the 92 around. 
Looks like it started maybe around Johnny Thomas. Yeah. 83 tr uh, car. We're going to see what we can find. Oh, it. wow. Yeah, I don't... Ooh. Not sure what he was thinking there. 39 was around. Like you said, Wendell, it's hard uh, to find all this stuff on short tracks. It's like the 92 just decided that the 83 did not exist and just turned left. Uh, stacked up the whole field behind him. Oh, and uh, Johnny Thomas showing his displeasure with the incident and uh, making that known. Um, well, we know the uh, race admins probably won't uh, think too kindly of that. No, no, probably not. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, they just stacked them up. Doesn't look like anybody got totaled there, but uh... Let's see, it looks like we do have takers for pit road this time, gentlemen. Wow, yeah, that 83 did uh, give him a little hit there, didn't he? Well, it's one of those situations okay. where uh, I ain't mad at him for it. My personal opinion, you know, it's a little too early to be cutting people's noses off, so... It is what it is. It's a giant paperclip. Things like that are gonna happen. Go ahead, Trent. Yeah, I was going to say, look like the top 14, the only taker was Taylor Wood, who was running 10th and decided to pit. Yeah, I imagine a lot of guys from behind that wreck probably slammed on brakes to miss it and wanted to make sure they didn't flat spot any tires. Indeed, probably not a bad that's, idea. That's not like a realistic eye racing thing, but it, I do know if you lock them up enough, you're going to take some, definitely some tread off of them, so... Plus, we still got a long way to go, boys. You might want to uh, position yourself maybe for the halftime break here by uh, topping off a of fuel and staying out for that bonus point. Yeah. I, mean, I'm not saying, I know the cup car's going to do about 130 laps here, so. And they're running 75% fuel, too, so. With these cautions, I mean, you're pretty much making fuel. Yeah, true. Oh, it's like a reverse of fortunes here again. 33 back on the bottom, 77 back on the outside of the 18. All right, well, gentlemen, we got lights out. We're going to stack them up one more time. It's nice about short tracks when all the cautions are quick, quick and easy. Yes, indeed, and we love that. By we, I mean I. See but. if that 77 get that good start like he did last time. No, bottom line gets that. Well, he pulls even with Peter. Teammate cars, though. That Tanner Sharp making a move back there around Eric Mickey. Looks like he's trying to. Is, uh, Eric Mickey, as we already know, uh, pretty decent around this man. But, uh, he's no pushover here. He's got his moments of brilliance. You can just tell that the 77 will just when you get a little bit out of the groove, it kills all your momentum. So unfortunately, I don't believe we'll have a high line groove tonight. Yeah, uh, that 77 car, Cameron Rich, he was able to get down that low line and uh, keep that third spot, so he's going to look to pick him off. So we are still too wide back here in the pack, boy. This is where you're kind of holding them to your wheel and gripping it a little extra tight trying to get to the field. Yeah, we didn't mention Nathan Young actually got the wave around the wave last caution, so he's trying to weed his way back to the field here. So we got some pretty good action between the uh, 77 and 33 right now. That's a nice little pack there in the top five. Uh, all looking to show uh, good quality speed. Uh, that 77 is looking to be a little bit faster than that 33 car, Peter Short. Yeah, he's got that uh, center roll down. No, Chandler's entered Denny Hamlin. Man. Oh, I gotta interrupt it, gentlemen. We got Bobby Harmon. 
He's coming in. If announcing was a sport, these guys would be pros. I believe <laughs> I believe I'm gonna ask for a raise. Yeah. <laughs> it's the uh, Ooh, 77. Showcase a little bit of that talent there. Yeah, he's uh it's gonna allow that eight car Richard Lafferty to close up on his bumper there. Yeah, he's gonna kind of be uh, Orderly here, but uh, they keep doing that. We're gonna get a shape of back to 33 of them there. It's kind of like, hey, I'm here, I'm faster than you, let me go. And uh, Peter Short saying, no way, buddy, you're gonna have to earn it. Get from one Ford driver to another, he said, nah. One teammate to another. Uh, was we, what was the phrase we heard today, Trey? You hit me once. Okay, you hit me twice, I know you're there. You hit me the third time, and we're wrecked. Yeah, there we go. It's like a little bit, uh, the field has kind of calmed down a little bit as we're pretty much single file throughout. Uh, oh, yeah, these guys are pulling off the race surface. Rough. Definitely not the way he wanted to start his B season, I know. And he has already, pulled that car to the garage. He is already out of the car. Said, nah, Martinsville next year. I hope everything's all right, buddy. So we got that 33 starting to put a little bit of pressure on our leader. Ooh, yeah. On oh, Chad Brown, a little sideways back there, just caught him in the clips of my eye. I did want to uh, correct something, too. Kevin Finn, not done for the day. He got that car back out there. So kudos to him. And it looks like our leaders are starting to catch the back of the field here, so. They are indeed, Trey. So what do you sign to say, Trey? This might actually turn to a race. 30, 30, 30, 30. Run on the 18. Well, ever since he got that hit from his uh, 77 car, he's been motoring. 77, way out of shape. That's going to allow the 8 to get down low. Ah, oh, the 18 lost, what, three spots in one lap, didn't he? Oh, so like yeah. He tried to minimize to it. Trying to get that spot back to the 77, but he wasn't able to. Now we know it's fixed setup. You think maybe he's already burned those tires off? Uh, it's very possible. You no know, rear tire. A lot of people think about front tires here, but rear tires can be just as important for uh, corner exit. Gentlemen, I've been waiting to say it, but new leader, 33 driver Peter Short, rookie to the B car series here, but uh, new leader nonetheless. A little smoke there at a turn four. You know, looking at the chat, uh, Abbas uh, brings up a good point. Now, why can't the Xfinity run uh, Martinsville? That's a good question. I wish they would bring it back. Ooh, got the 21 way up the hill right now, the leader. He's all right. Got the, uh, we didn't cover it. There's seven car on pit lane, so Jeff's story not having the uh, storybook ending he's looking for. Rather unfortunate, but uh, attrition definitely something you will witness here tonight. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look and see if anything happened to him or why he pitted. To answer your question, though, Trey, why the Xfinity Series doesn't run here? As we have a caution. Well, we've got a uh, triple sure number car, that is, but one of the cars that the uh, leader's the just car. put down. Steven Cruz. If we can't go back and find out uh, what happened there. Looks like he just went in the three way too high. Yeah, got away from him up there. Probably got in the marbles. Looks like that uh, that very well may be the case, but uh, caution's out on lap 43 of 200. Still, I always uh, see these. Uh, I imagine these guys up front will uh, come in and uh, take advantage of uh, getting know those one four freshies. Coming. That 18 for sure is coming. I wouldn't be surprised if 77 comes as well. He was. Uh, they all did. I think he's burning that right rear up. Got to keep an eye on pit lane speed here as well. That's uh, very difficult here. 35 miles an hour. And these, uh, we talked about it before, uh, corner pit stalls, very hard to see. Especially in this, if you're not on the front row, this done in the uh, one and two turns, very hard to see your pit stall turning in. We're going to have us a pit road battle. You know, 33, the 77 gets stopped in their box. 18 get stopped in his. Let's see if we have any games off pit lane here, Wendell. If they're smart enough for that, you might want to let someone go to get on the inside lane here. Indeed. Looks like 33 is going to win that battle. 8, 77, Eight. then the 18. Uh, Eric 
Thank you for the lock. Yeah. Okay, you have teammates on the bottom there. Yeah, Brent Miller, Cody Wright, Wade Weir. We got Chad Brown in the Burger King car. Jeffrey Cree. Corey Lindsay with Sean Thomas. Now the rest of these guys, it appears, have been caught on pit road. Not much about Mr. Lindsay. That car looks like it's been, it's been at Martinsville already, but there he is once again, soldier and all. He looks like uh, Kevin Finn's up here to take uh, take a wave around for one of the two laps that he's down. Pretty amazing. He only lost two laps. Well, three. I guess, oh. technically. Still, that's pretty good for a tow. Interesting. Over right there. We're gonna get you the wide angle. At least until they get uh until get until they get reset. Oh, he's rolling again. Is that a, is that oh, a technical grim on there? Yeah. <laughs> Should I finish my point, Trey, on why Xfinity doesn't run here? Yeah, please. My understanding is they want to give them a break from the West Coast swing. It's a lower funded oh. series, so and we know what happens at short tracks, so they give them a break, reset. I believe they head back to Texas with the Cup cars next week. So, yeah, I'm excited to see those cars next week in Texas with that repave, that reconfiguration. I think you're going to see a lot of speed next week at Texas in the which, in the real life series. Which begs the question: Speaking of redo, we got pace car down off the racetrack already. Who? Yeah, it's, it's Mike quick. Stevens. Mike Stevens is our leader. Stayed out. 32 laps in those tires. Ooh, eight cars uh, already looking, though. Yeah, I think what? the Four admins are going to have to look at that restart there. It's a change lane, maybe. He got that around. He did not around. Do not have caution as of yet, though. Ooh, wow. Good job people missing him, though. Keep it so far. I could have seen that come with those, that 33 car. No, excuse me, the uh, Mike Stevens 63 on uh, 30 lap tires. Yeah, they that ate, was. <laughs> they, they ate his lunch. He has settled in um, P7. Well, I'm going to lose that now. Yeah, believe it or not, that is that is a thing in iRacing. You can't get wheel hop. It's been a victim of that myself quite a few times. Yeah, new leader in the in the NASCAR number eight. We saw the speed of that 33 though in the long run. I think he he knows what he's got. He knows how to manage his stuff, and he's definitely gonna. Let me just let that eight word stuff out a little bit. Just like his brother. Yeah. No, I, I do know there is one way to get around a Mickey here in Martinsville, and that's uh, with the bumper. Put a Cooter Huggins in front of him. It's like 32 gonna regroup there. He had a little moment in one and two. Ah, does it again. Just gotta back these corners up. I feel like that's a huge thing in this car, Trey. We talk about it, the B car needing momentum, but here especially. If you don't get that run through the center and off, you're just going to be a sitting duck. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Especially as evil as they look on, once they get about five laps on the tires. You got a gaggle of them between second and sixth. Uh, goes to tail, 33 is caught on the outside currently. Tanner uh, Sharp, isn't he? Looks like there's only two cars in that mix with no damage to him. Paul Ross making his name back out front here, isn't he? We saw him drive away, well, second. But, um, we saw him have that short run speed, but he just seemed like he couldn't keep his stuff under him there. 
as his eight cards kind of said, "Hey, bye." Which is pretty big at Martinsville. Elapsed right only, elapse only 20 seconds, so. Looks like Eric Mickey was able to pick up that uh, spot from uh, Peter Short. Uh, so did Cameron Rich in that 77. Uh, so dropped Peter back to uh, sixth. A little surprised at that, Trey, because he had the speed early on in that first stint. Maybe he's just uh, making sure he keeps the car in one piece. Yeah, I think him uh, getting caught up on that high side kind of hurt him a lot. We talk, uh, unless anyone doesn't know, and outside the iRacing service here, there are marbles outside of the groove that build up during a green, green flag run. And if we have 30 cars here tonight, I definitely expect there to be some trash build up. There's the three dive bombs, the 18. Man, it's dick, though. Looks like he made it work. Yeah, uh, that 18 is going to try to hold his own on the outside there. Not, not going to be able work, to do though. it. He's not giving up, though. Got uh, Eric Mickey trying to stay tucked into the bumper of that three car to make it impossible for the 18 to clear, but. Oh, he goes. can. Ah, boy, he didn't shut the door quick enough. Oh, oh then there we go. Some Going big around. Big wreck out of four. Oh, 77. 77. 97, 97 86 checkup. Boy, that was uh you could almost see that coming, Trey, the way he was he was trying to just hold on to that position. Yeah. And uh Eric wasn't gonna give him the inch and uh look what happens. We're gonna check uh check this out from the roof cam of the thirty three car. Oh, it looks like the looks like the eighteen actually got a little loose at a four before all this even happened. Yeah, he was already sideways, uh as we know, there's not, not much room to go once you get sideways. You're kind of just in it. 77, that's pretty big two hits to that front end. I know <laughs> aerodynamics aren't huge here, but you really don't want to cave the front end in this early. Well, looks, like our, end end. <laughs> looks like our leaders are back on pit road. Uh, Mike Stevens is going to take advantage of the service this time. Uh, Sees in for four, fresh, four freshies. He dropped back to P9 before that caution came out. Uh, I'm sure he's glad to see that yellow flag wave. Without a doubt. I and I would say, as I say, misfortune and help some people then hurts the other. Uh, one Mickey got cut up in the right there, Eric, um, Eric Mickey, and Andrew Mickey gets the wave around from it. So. Oh. Cody Wright, where did he come from? Same with the three. We didn't talk a whole lot about him that first stint, but he's uh, worked his way up here. Well, looks like uh, Cody Wright rolled off the grid tonight. 22nd, made his way up to looks to be fifth place. Uh, now, um, Thomas. Um, yes. You notice our front row? Yes. Decided to stay out. Uh, looks like Jeffrey Ake. Well, no, never mind. They're gonna pit. Thank goodness. I think they they may have gotten the. I know Andrew got the wave around, so he had to wait to there. pit. Okay. Or the lucky dog. I believe the thirty-two. Well, the thirty-two can't pit with a wave around. Gentlemen, gentlemen, even we got CDR Ooh. ball. He's uh he's made his way to his hauler. He's gonna enjoy oh. the broadcast from there, but uh. He's saying a ho horrible qualifying got him in the back and caught him in someone else's wreck. CD, we uh, yeah. we we witnessed your your unfortunate luck there. Uh, however, if it's any saving grace, we want you to know you have the best name in the three wide league so far. Pretty much all the sim racing so far. That's pushing it. There's some pretty strong yeah, we names. Yeah, we talked about that CD, uh, being back there in the back and trying to make your way to the front, and that's the danger you run into at a short track is getting caught up into someone else's stuff. And uh, you weren't the only one, buddy. I think uh, Kevin Finn and a couple others got caught up in that stuff too. 
We've uh, had to throw another yellow to get the field caught back up here. That's one problem with Martinsville, trying to get everybody sorted back out again. Indubitably. Unlike real NASCAR, you, they don't really, they don't get to look at the field and sort it out. Everything's like, you get two laps, get it done. Yeah, make it happen, gentlemen. If not, we'll black flag you. All right, well, we are going to be reset this time. We got lights out. We got them stacked up. It's like the uh, eight of Lafferty going to start on the inside row with the three of Sharp outside. It's no laughing matter, Wendell. No, not at all. Now we saw it was, uh, what, three wide last time, pretty aggressive in turn one. Let's see what we get out this time. Let's see. We're watching it from the start finish line. He goes early. He's gonna get that that good jump. Clean so far. Um, listen to listen to the drivers chat. A lot of people got a black flag for my racing. Uh, because of all this mess. Luckily, they have a in race admin trade to sort that out. Yeah. He's, he's going to be busy. Yeah, so buy that man a beer. Or his favorite beverage, I'm not going to assume. I'll tell you what, uh. Oh, Richard Lafferty better be sharp up there on point because Tanner's all over his back bumper. Actually, going to the outside of him there. We're gonna make That's that power move. Who's he think he is, Brad Keselowski? Yeah. Well, if, if the door number is any indication, I don't think it's Keselowski he's uh, trying to <laughs> imitate. Oh, so he has an intimidator button on him. Okay. Yeah, okay. somebody around on the back straight. Caution. Right. So the 18 of Paul Ross. Oh, Paul Ross, early leader, pole sitter. Uh, see what happened here. Just lost Ooh, it. No Off contact. Oh, oh, that's a hard hit. hit. Yep, hard hit. He's kind of lost it by himself. It's like one of those Thomas where um, where he just got into the gas maybe a little too quick in the center of the corner and it just started pushing out to the wall and he had so much wheel in it by the time those tires bit it just threw him to the inside. Without a doubt, you hit the nail on the head on that one. You could just tell too much wheel, too much speed, and then uh, around she went. Now, Trobes, I, I gotta tell you, Trobes and Chad, I gotta tell you, don't jinx it, man. Because as soon as you say something, <laughs> cautions breed cautions, gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, that's sure the do. nature of the beast in Martinsville. You kind of, I mean, even look at the the real guys today. They went clean at the start, but they, <laughs> once the money started getting paid out, they uh, they didn't get quite so clean. Ricky Stenthouse, to point out a few. Yeah, yeah. You know, he almost had a three-way today with Ricky, Danica, and I believe it was Chris Busher. Yeah, I believe uh, I believe I saw Busher in the middle of that. Yeah, he was totally the sandwich. The meat in the sandwich, huh? To be fair, it's hard to tell those uh, Kroger cars and I believe it's Click List cars apart, so you, she probably thought she was still hitting AJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No love lost there. Oh, no, not at all. Might uh, might have some of those same great feelings after this race tonight. Although, I don't... Correct me if I'm wrong here, Trey. Maybe um, the 83 and 92 incident was a little over the top, but most of this hasn't been too... too aggressive or anything to really get your feelings hurt about. No, it's just uh, mostly simple car stuff. Uh, these guys maybe losing a little bit off the corner. Of course, we mentioned that earlier. Oh, Trey, we got, a, to be a we got some big robot some coming on. from you right now. Might want to uh, turn the Wi-Fi down. Or get another gerbil on the wheel. Speaking of gerbils, uh, can we get Matt Kingston to the wheel, please? <laughs> Better? Oh, much better. Much better. There he goes. Yeah, okay. A little hiccup there. You know, drink a little water, it clears them up. You gotta make sure to uh, oil those robots, you know. We're 
lights out, gentlemen. We're gonna stack them up one more Once time. Again. See if we can get some green running here, boys. And looks like they're gonna extend this caution a little bit just to make sure. Kind of a fiasco that last uh, restart field not getting itself sh sorted out. So they're gonna give it an extra lap. To let these uh, drivers get where they belong. Pretty smart move. Like you said last time, there were guys still trying to catch up with the field. And that's that always ends poorly when you go and turn one when someone's at full speed and other guys are getting up to speed. I know Wendell James has some fond memories of this track of trying to get up to speed. Yeah, you know, especially when your teammate decides to turn right into your door down the <laughs> back straightaway. Uh, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Pace car is off. We're actually going to do it this time. We'll see how Tanner can do out there on the outside. Well, lafferty has gone. The rest of them will try to follow him. Not a great start for the three. They're going to lose two spots so far. Well, one. Trying to hold on to another. Oh, there's the three and the 38 oh. make contact. They're going to keep yeah. it going. Stacks up the field, though. Yeah, big Good jump save. for the, That's the two leaders just drive away. As uh, Andrew Mickey, probably the biggest benefactor of that. He moves himself up to P6 with that. And they are around. Turn two. Wait, somebody hit the uh, cone. Not sure who that is, but. Uh, 97. Is that, uh, is that Zach? Yeah, it is. Zach around again. Someone pit lane earlier with a few issues. Ooh, yeah, that one's quite the coster. Looks like he, uh, he had been getting a little bit of help from the 18 a couple of times, but uh, finally with that second stack up in two, just not able to avoid it. Well, yeah, I could kind of get on the 10 there and try to get off of him, but, you and know, that's just a chain reaction. Round he goes. Where he stops, nobody knows. Well, I already think knows. The net code. But... I was going to say, uh, before that caution, Andrew... Mickey definitely benefiting here. He was a lap down and turned the oh. wrong way. So we got we got cars smacking each other under caution. Got, uh, like the 87, the 21, and the 6. That's not very clever. Clever is as clever does. Save your hits for on the track when you're under green. Wow, looks like a big check up there calls that, though. Like just a, basically a stop and turn one. Yeah, it didn't look like anything intentional, but uh, you know, contact nonetheless. No, but you don't want to crush your front end in under yellow for sure. Or that six car is already probably fighting a uh, fair amount of damage. Oh, real quick, want to address something that uh, is being discussed in the in the chat here. We got uh, we got Mr. Costanzo asking why so many dislikes. Well, the short answer is. If you look at them upside down, those are, in fact, thumbs-ups. Very true. Mm -hmm. uh, truth be told, uh, I, I can't speak for Thomas or Trey or even uh, you know any of the rest of the, the stream team, uh, but really don't care too much about the thumbs-down. Uh, we, uh, we focus more on the thumbs-up. We got seven of those, so eat your heart out. Oh, make that eight. Well, here's the problem, Wendell. Their thumbs down, but I don't see any negative comments in the chat. Oh! So they must be pansies. Oh! Calling them out. Speaking of calling them out, it's like we're going to be working lap 84 of 200. Almost halfway, gentlemen. Oh, so who's going to play the strategy to get this bonus point here? Might see a little aggression to try and get that extra point. Looks like we got uh, lights out on the pace car and Trobes. That is exactly how that works. <laughs> But uh, lights out on the pace car. We're going to stack them up one more again. And uh, five bucks says Lafferty gets the jump on the field one more time. He sure does. He kind of uh, playing a little games there. Stacked the field up. Yeah, a little uh, Jeff Gordon-esque restart there. 
Looks like they get ooh, Chad Brown a little trouble there getting off a two. I was gonna say, don't look now, we got Chad Brown in the top five. Actually just got Swarm there. Ooh, Andrew, Andrew, Mickey, Andrew and, and we got another one. The three's out of shape. Well, they were oh, all able to keep it going though. Eric Mickey to the inside of three. He's gonna pull it back. Thought, thought better of it. Yeah, it was a bad angle. I don't think that was ever gonna work. We got our first thumbs down commenter. We got tropes coming in. You guys are a bunch of smellies. <laughs> Actually, that's true. Uh, yeah, without a doubt, that's true. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, that 21 losing it up there on the high side. Ooh, big clash. Big, big crash. Oh, Ooh, 89 around as well. That 21 is not having a good night here at Martinsville. Someone else smoking 92 smoking as well. Oh, no, just drove it way too hot into the corner. Uh, round and round and round. Ooh, 92 smashes, 77 involved. A big hit for the 77. Ooh, yeah, wow. It's going to be a lot of uh, bent fenders there. We, well, we saw it, uh, I believe it was a 10 did the same thing earlier. You just can't get up out of that, really, out of the middle to bottom groove, or you're just going to go around. No, and uh, don't look now, but we got... <laughs> We get, we got Chad Brown. Looks like he's slotted P2 currently. What a whopper. I don't mind. Wait a minute, what happened to the 8 machine? He pit? Not really sure. Yeah, he's on pit yes, lane. Yes, he's on pit road. Oh, that's a big gamble to take on lap 90. Maybe Only 10 laps away from your caution break. I believe it would have stayed out for the point at least. Sorry, not caution break, point break. <laughs> the way this is going, maybe another caution break. Oh, somebody give me Corey Bunch's PayPal address, because I owe him money now. He said that uh -oh. I was okay. And I He's am probably, okay with that. He'd probably be happy if you just sent him a pair of pedals. <laughs> oh, shots fired. Inside jokes for the win. Absolutely. Actually, I, man, I feel so bad for him. Well, that's life. Life teaches you lessons. It's true. I sent $100 to China one time, if that makes you feel any better, Corey. Hey, we send millions of dollars to China every day. Yeah, not directly through Western Union. Oh, no. no. Yep, that's how I learned my lesson. You may have sent it Western Union, but you got some sure enough Eastern uh, trickery. Yeah. Uh, black magic and such. Ah. But we're working oh, yeah. uh, almost Tile almost halfway. Again? Yeah, lap 92 of 200 in the books. We got a whole bunch of torn up race cars. Still got some not torn up race cars as well. And it looks like uh, as they run, it's like the class of the field so far tonight has been Peter Short by being able to stay out of trouble. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that A car because I, I feel like that was not the best move to make. I almost kind of want to cue up the uh, the radio and let him know, be careful of that car behind him. <laughs> <laughs> and around him, and in front of him. Just, you know, just go faster. Well, we saw it didn't work out for Kevin Finn, so maybe he can make it work. Right, we got pace car down, gentlemen. We're going to stack him up one more time. Put Andrew right on the back bumper to 33 as he goes. Good jump. Chad Brown's sleeping a little bit there. He's going to lose that spot to Andrew as uh, that 32 is going to look to take advantage and uh, be wide behind the sharp. Now, if I didn't know any better, I'd, there, I'd yeah. say there were quite a few people charging the corner. Ooh, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I'm all Man, for Carlos up here, Wendell, back in the top ten. I, I've seen that. a decent recovery for him. Yeah, Chad Brown dropped all the way to sixth position on that restart, getting hung up the, out there on the high side. So we got Tanner, yep, powered around Jeff there. Going to take P3. 
like the uh, 38 of Cody Wright trying to make his way back into the mix. Uh, one of the very few cars with what appears to be no damage on it. As long as you don't look at the back bumper. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, I don't think I brought up either. The 18 Paul Ross didn't come back out of the pits. I think he's done for the night. Yeah, that was at, least, a, uh, at least getting that motor repaired, probably. Yeah, that was a huge hit uh, after his incident with the inside retaining walls. Eric Mickey has been three wide tonight more than any other driver on track. And of course, as I say that, the 18 rolled back out on track. Okay. Well, you know, I'm pretty. They've got these these motor repairs down to you know less than less than 15 minutes now. Yeah. It's, well, it's a Camry, so. Well, you know, you just pull the heads off, pull the oil pan off, drop the the rod, put a new one on, you're good to go. Or you just replace those two rubber bands, and it probably broke anyway. Now, you know, we were speculating that the uh, the eight car taking that pit stop might have been a bad idea, but he's uh, he's worked his way back up to P6. Yeah, he's, he's I don't want to say he's got lucky, but he was pretty lucky with the way the traffic kind of shook out for him. Now he's just uh, marching back through the field. And it looks like Peter Short is going to get that halfway point. Indeed, Trey, you are correct, Amundo. So maybe Richard forgo that point, and maybe he's playing a little long game strategy here, uh, as he's he restarted 11th. He's already back up to sixth. And he's uh, he's currently working on the back bumper of that 38 of Cody Wright. As uh, Cody looking like he's going to be working on the back bumper of that 32. Of course, this is the, the you know this is the challenge. Watching this eight car, he's got much fresher tires than these guys in front of him, and so they're they're backing up these corners, and he's doing all he can to stay off their back bumper. Yeah, that's when the real game kind of comes into play, and it, Trey, you just gotta manage your race, and then just work your way through the traffic because you don't want to get stuck back here, but then you don't also don't want to burn your tires up trying to get to the front. Richard Lafferty has a oh, has a bump on the 38 there. Yeah. He did. He backed That's off. That's about. He backed yep. off a little bit though. That was. Yeah, he was able to to collect himself and uh, keep it going. That allowed everyone behind him to catch up, including the six of Eric Mickey. As he looks to the yeah. inside. Yeah, he pitted with Richard there, so uh, you know Richard's got to watch out for Eric. This car is just uh, not quite as uh, straight as that eight car. No, no, not at all. Of course, those fenders are just you know pretty little add-ons. You know, and even with the the slight contact there with the 38, uh, all the panels on the eight still look pretty crispy. Uh, oh, eight dumps the 38. Oh, there we go. It's going to get it going again, but... Oh. Keep it green. We're going to see if we can't get a replay on that. He said he was trying to uh, be patient manage his way through, but that was a uh, little, little impatience there. Yeah, he just yeah. went in and quote-unquote handled business. Denny Hamlin hammered him pretty much. Hamlin? Hamlin. Hammer time. Pretty much, yeah. Said so go with the flow, and if you can't, you're probably going to end up sideways off the corner. Yeah, that dropped Cody back to P12, so he lost a lot of spots. More importantly, he dropped him in a hornet's nest. Uh, yeah, he's definitely in the middle of that wad back there. Good news is we got Martinsville on hand, gentlemen. Woo! Still got 15 vehicles circulating on on the lead lap at the moment, so. And uh, Corey Lindsay, the 
last car on the lead lap currently. And uh, let's see if we can figure out how far ahead of the leader he is. Doesn't look to be very much. Uh, no, not much at all. <laughs> Leader's so, in three and four, and he's coming out of four, so... Yeah, maybe uh, three quarters of a straightaway, but... As, as smooth as that 33 is right now, I, I don't know there's going to be much that the uh, back of the field's going to be able to do about it. No, he, not with that kind of gap he's getting on him. Uh, Wade Lear was able to get around Chad Brown. Uh, move Wade Lear, I haven't talked about him tonight. Move him up to P7. You know, and, and we I was going to mention him earlier... Uh, until we had a couple of incidents. Uh, he was looking really smooth running 6th uh, and 7th. Uh, he has come down pit road a few times and uh, looks like he's rebounded in the in and out car. Oh, it's an Eric Mickey. He's going to get around the 32. He does in yeah, fact clear. Cleared. And to look at the difference between Eric Mickey in the sixth and Richard Lafferty in the eight, it, almost half a straightaway. It looks like Lafferty's got this this setup figured out tonight. Yeah, I think he was able to get around Jeffrey uh, Acree as Yellow. cautions out. Ooh, big check up on the, oh, the leader involved. Oh, as the leader is now smoking, we'll see if we can figure out what happened there. Oh, the 38 trying to turn back around. Ooh, so looks like the 38 and the 88 contact. Oh, man. Yeah, and the uh, 90 just unable to see it going on. Bumped the wow, 33 just right hooked. into it. See if we can find actual incident yeah rusty webb coming out of turn two uh actually driven a little deep hit the guy in front of him came off the turn two oh, got hooked us hooked oh, man and like you say nowhere for the 30 well the 90 just didn't really see what was happening in front of him you can't see through these cars very well so yeah, and with the offset that he was sitting at it just he was not able to see it wow you god that's a tough break for the 33 I can almost hear Drew uh, with a no from here. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see. Leaders did come down pit road. Yeah, it's a good time to uh, top her off. Three gonna beat the eighty-six. Not even sure who the leader is. It was it handed to the three? As we saw in the replay right there, just not able to see what was going on. Well, that's going to shake up the field again, gentlemen. I we have Tanner Sharp and Andrew Mickey on the front row now. Followed uh, by Richard Lafferty, Eric Mickey, once it resets. Right, yeah, I think the uh, biggest movers there are going to be Lafferty and Mickey of the Eric variation. Now, Thomas, a uh, question for you. Will these Mickeys dump each other? Without a doubt. They they are brothers, so uh, they'll say sorry after the fact. More Andrew than Eric, I believe. Andrew's very, very hungry for a win, from what I've heard uh, walking around the garage earlier today, Wendell. But with uh, what's going to be 80 laps to go, clicking them off very quickly. He, uh, he's Ooh, looking pretty so decent so far. Why this blew up under yellow, I believe, the 88 machine. Rusty Webb. Yeah, a lot of damage early. Uh, oh, he was just in that wreck as well. Yeah. Hmm. Well, they always say don't bring your best equipment to Martinsville, and I guess we know why now. Now, you want to bring a two years car, two year old car here. The one that's already crinkled. It's like we had four cars take the wave around. Yeah, they better hustle. Because uh, I believe the lights are off on the pace car. Pace car is down. Going to be no waving this one off. No, and they're going to have to hustle to get back up here. Oh, and uh, 
Tanner Sharp is going to hold him, hold him, hold him. He's green. Um, okay. That's going to stack the field up a little bit. Andrew Mickey totally uh, missed that start. Yeah, he did. Looks like he, he went tried. And stopped. Yeah, he tried to anticipate it, but missed. And I'm sure his brother, Eric, very happy with him getting caught up behind that. Oh, is he charged through the corner there? He's going to lose a spot because of that. Maybe another one. Is that Johnny yeah. Thomas? It sure is. Johnny Thomas. In the picture. In the, position. <laughs> In the Carhartt 83 car. He must have built that car. Carhartt tough. Indubitably. Oh, as he oh, gets man. into the back of the 86. They say still green. Caution. I think They're they actually still green. to each other to help them save it. Uh, I guess no harm, no loss of life? Uh, well, just a couple of tents here and there. Yeah. That allows uh, Eric Mickey and Chad Brown with Wade Lear to get by him. Yeah, you're going to take a few laps to regain your uh, tires probably. They're going to be a little, a little hot. As Ooh, a, oh, two sticks it in there. Now the two with... Very good situational awareness right there. Able to check it up. Well, you know, it's really easy to get your feelings hurt here, Wendell, but some people charge the corner. Some people like to do the wider arc. Uh, you gotta, you got to be mindful of who you're racing in front of you and not yeah. just stick it in a hole that may not technically be open. Very true. I'm uh, sure that's a law, I think, of physics. Uh, two objects cannot occupy the same space at the same time. Well, you just went above my pay grade there, bud. Uh, Andrew Mickey was able to get past Wade Lear, move him back up to six. He's trying to rebound from that. Surprising to say, uh, Andrew Mickey doing pretty good at Martinsville in a B car here. It's kind of surprising me. Indeed. But I think the story right <laughs> now is the number eight car running down the three. Running down a dream, maybe? Indeed, he's... Uh... He's led the most laps here so far tonight with 39. Uh, Tanner here running lead right now has only got 13. I think uh, Lafferty looking to make sure that Tanner does not pass him in that stat column. And looks say without like, a doubt. <laughs> looks like Mickey of the Andrew variation able to pick up a spot from Chad Brown there. Yeah, the old BK machine, not uh. Not looking like it's turning too good. Having to really uh, let it roll and not get on the gas on exit here. That was a gaggle back here with the 13, the 83, and the 14 of Kevin Finn as contacts made between the 83 and he is dead. Okay. Johnny Thomas is dead. No caution. Not sure how that happened. Uh, 38, 38 is blown smoking. up. Wow. That's... Pretty amazing. We're going to get a replay off on 83 here. I can't believe the caution did come out. Wow. I can't believe that car is still running. There's the caution. Wow. Um. Not exactly sure what this yellow is for, though. I believe the 83 is blown up on track. Yes, he did. Yep, he is done. Uh, that I can only assume was a uh, admin throne caution. Mm, nope. No. no. But if we uh, if we do happen to figure out what caused it. Please let me know. Oh, I got you. Thirteen went around. Thirteen. Thirteen. We got Taylor Wood. Taylor Wood went just off a of two. Lost it. Pretty reminiscent to. Uh, Paul Ross. Oddly enough, that was the caution, but not the car that flipped almost into the grandstand. So. Yeah, yeah the single car incident. <laughs> not the one that cost five or six people like four I, seconds. I think the biggest, the biggest difference here, the 13 was actually stopped on track, whereas the other <laughs> car, the 83 never completely stopped. Oh, we're not counting hang time in the air then? I, you got to talk to iRacing about that. But uh, like I said, that's the only thing I saw different. True, but still. I mean, come on. Hey, I'm with you. It hey, looks like we've got uh, Tanner Sharp and Andrew Mickey staying out. Uh, 
Uh, am I seeing that correctly? Yes, your um, spectacles yeah. are treating you correctly. Indeed, I, I cleaned them today, so I was hoping so. But uh, oh, wow. now that's that's interesting. Uh, I it, can't really blame them, though. No, but if Lafferty came down and took four freshies right there, those two boys are in big, big trouble. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to go with Wendell on that one. Look, I'll be the gambler here. The three's got the air, the track position. We've seen how this race has gone. I don't expect it to get much better because we're getting closer to the end here, so people are going to get more aggressive even though we're thinning out the cards. I'd say get up front and stay up front. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think I, that's I, why I'm up here, Wendell. I, I'm I think, with you. I think staying up front's going to be the challenge. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'm not necessarily saying you may you may lose the lead, but if you can stay in the top two or three, even top five, away from some of the shenanigans in the back. Yeah. We got Hugo in chat. Quote unquote, short track racing, changing the game from eye racing to eye pacing. Yeah, the old Ford Mustang uh, led a lot of laps tonight here, Wendell. Yeah, indeed. As we are lights out on the pace car. Rumor has it he may have to pit next time. Right, it looks like uh, Tanner... Yeah, the pace car. Looks like Tanner opted to take the outside lane. Interesting, uh, interesting. choice. Maybe some strategery from the IRL race today. Yeah. Different car physics down. involved in that, though. <laughs> So an old tire starting on that outside lane. I think the eight just got a gift there. Yeah, I think Big so. Big jump, though. As, uh, we're going to watch that Carlos Acosta pushing Chad Brown into the corner saying, boo, buddy. I, mean, I don't want your whopper, bud. A big checkup coming out of four there. We made it our lap, boys. All right. Ooh, Eric Mickey sticking it in on Chad Brown. No harm, no foul. Eight car gonna make the move on Andrew Mickey. Trying to. And we've Ooh, seen yeah. uh, the eight car not not afraid to let his presence be known tonight. I think uh, Andrew may have uh, may have realized that, but that's gonna allow the two of Costa to come through as well. Yeah. yeah and he, he oh he he drove that sucker in there way too hard and washed <laughs> up and that uh, just opened the door for uh, Lafferty and Acosta. Now this is an RK Motorsports one three right now, Wendell. Here it is. We've got the A car right on the back bumper and by on it I mean on it. And by on it you mean looking for the lead probably. Uh, gave us the uh, given the three his first little bit of uh, panel scuffing. He's like, hey man, watch the paint. Now this ooh, this is letting the two reel them in both here, so I'm sure the eight's gonna get a little antsy. He's going right here. Yeah, no contest there with those tires. Mickey gonna gonna look like he's gonna get the, the look on Acosta, and he does. Both Mickey's uh, trying to make the move. Andrew not quite able to get it down in there, except for He's right there. Stick it. Made it stick that done. time. The Mickey you boys. Just, <laughs> like again though, you can just tell when the once you get up out of the ooh, little well, contact. Just, little little groove. Not sure what yeah, that we'll was go, all just, about, but just a little bit. He's going well, that's up for position there with Kevin Finn, but Caution's out. As we got Chad Brown around and stopped in turn four. That's unfortunate. He had a had a solid run going tonight. Let's see if we can find yeah, out what happened. Ooh, maybe a contact a, there. Yep. Yeah, maybe a little help. Uh, ooh, 32, contacts. 13, and then another car got him. Four cars hit Chad Brown right there. <laughs> 87 at the end. I guess yeah, they wanted his whopper well done. Yeah, that's one of those situations you just can't avoid it sometimes. Let's see if we get a better angle on it. Yeah, 32, 13 popped him. 48 of Velez got him. Then the 87, insult to injury. Just the slightest of touches, too, from that 32. Yeah, nothing to, uh, nothing to crinkle. Any panels. Just the, uh, 
checkup factor really is what kind of put him down there. Uh, looks like Tanner Sharp is the only one of our leaders that came down pit road, so he is going to be mired uh, back in the pack when we go when we go back green. I guess I'll concede and say you guys were right then, because that was definitely not the right call now to pit now after you stayed out. Yeah, Andrew Mickey decided to stay out. Uh, he's running uh, P3. Oh, Mickey, Mickey sandwich up there. That's not a sandwich that you want to be in. Hashtag Daytona. No. Hashtag rising? Question mark? Oh, boy. Unfortunately, yes, Wendell. Yes. So, Trey, uh, you think we've thinned down the field enough here to maybe make it green for to the end? Or maybe just 20, 30 laps? I said no. No, I don't think we can. <sighs> well, actually, I was wrong, Trey. That is, this is how crazy this race is. That battle between Kevin Finn and Carlos last lap, or right before the caution, was for position. Kevin Finn is resurfaced from three laps down to run in the top five. Well, that's what happens when you get a lot of cautions. You get those lucky dogs and uh, or wave arounds, and uh, you can actually salvage yourself a good finish if you're lucky. I'm sure he thought his day was over before this, uh, before we even got halfway into this race. Gentlemen, we are lights out on the base car. We got Richard Lafferty up here leading the field. We got a couple of Mickeys behind him. So uh, this ought to be interesting. I was just pointing it out while you were taking your uh, commercial break by yourself. Kevin Finn back in the top five. Yeah, no, I was, I was hearing that. Uh, He's going for two in a row here. That's a hard working determination. for the eight. Yeah, it was a sideways jump at that. Yeah, let me tell you, that's a that's a tricky jump in the middle of that corner. I've uh, done a few of those this week. Not, uh, a cost of looking to stick it in there. We might be trying to return the favor on uh, Andrew Mickey, who kind of stuck it in there last time. Yeah, it's it's one of those places that if, uh, if you're going to do it, it's probably best to do it here. We got a Cameron Rich in chat, and I quote, "Man, I don't know what to think of this race tonight." Well, it's uh, uh Martinsville, bro. It's been yeah, eventful. typical Martinsville. Uh, we got the Mickey boys looking to do some work on Richard Lafferty here. I don't think that six car can do much more work. <laughs> well, not with the back of it anyway. Front of it still looks pretty decent as he Ooh, gets dumped his brother, by his brother. <laughs> That's a yellow. That's yep. going to bring out a caution. Ooh, 48. Kind of trying to go the wrong way around there. Yeah, rather unfortunate for uh, Eric Mickey there. Running uh, top five all night long. Uh, only to be turned around by his brother. Now you asked the question earlier, Wendell, would he turn him? Uh, I thought it would be for a win, but I guess the second place is good enough. And yeah, just came in there and just ran right into the back of him. Yeah, that'll be a fun team meeting, I'm sure. Yeah, Party already yelling from room to room inside the house right now. Yeah, it might be a good idea to get a, a mediator in there for them. Or at least lock your door tonight. Well, this uh, caution's going to be good for Tanner Sharp. He uh, was the only one that pitted that last pit stop. Dropped him back into the pack. He's now P7. running seventh. Uh, stacked the field up again. He's going to have a chance to get these guys on this restart here. Yeah, still got a fairly clean car, too. So I... I expect him to probably, I don't know if he can get back to the 8, depending on how this shakes out, but definitely get back in the top 5. I'm sorry I even mentioned his name, though, because you know what's going to happen now. He's going to get jinxed. It yeah, looks like we uh, we might be one to go before the lights go out on top of the Mups tank.
Chad acknowledging that the fact that it's going to be awkward for the Mickey brothers. Yeah, it's always awkward for them, no matter if they win together or lose together. We are still lights on on the pace car. We got 45 laps to go, gentlemen. I don't know about you guys. I'd love to see a green finish here. I'm uh, yeah, sure they too. would too. They, they being the spectators. Okay, yeah. I think everyone in the field would. Well, as it's uh, in the hands of the drivers in the field, uh, that it leads uh, room for debate. All I can tell you, Wendell, is once again, glad I'm not the in-race admin, or the admins in general, because I'm sure they're going to take a look at this race and be like, yeah, we're not coming back to Martinsville. That or maybe some incident caps, as we've seen Ooh, that yeah, uh, become point. successful in other leagues. Uh, makes you mindful of being willing to hit the guy in front of you. Well, I don't know. Sometimes you're going to do it, but it makes That's you feel true. better knowing you got it in. <laughs> yeah. Right before your car disappears, as a pace car dives off. I tell you what, I would not want to be restarting behind Andrew Mickey here. No. Ooh. Big jump again for the eight. So the car is out of shape. We got a car on the wall. That looks like the 13. 90 car hard in the wall through one and two as well. Going to keep rolling. What. Andrew showing a little power out there on the old out on the outside with those old tires. He's able to get around Carlos and move into P2. And, uh, Kevin Finn looking I'm, I'm I'm watching it. Kevin Finn here. He's P4 on the chart right now. After what'd you say more three laps down or three laps down. <laughs> I feel like he's just like, look, I'm here and this is a present. I shouldn't even be here. Oh, we got Eric Mickey up in the wall, looks like. And another caution. Boy, his day has gone from bad to worse here. As the 13 is flipping there. over. Oh. 46, yeah. Yeah, that big shot from uh, the 46 to Kyle Hanshaw yep. sends uh, Eric in the, into the wall. And I think uh, oh, 13 tippers are starting to flare. Yeah, 13 just got hooked by the 21 under caution to send him end over end. I think uh, that was very awkward. Yeah. Flipped him like a turtle, though. Couldn't get off his shell. Yeah. Uh, that Martinsville. Was our that's our very own Nathan Young from Nathan Young Designs, I believe. Um, Tanner Sharp has uh, been able to move himself up into P5, so... Oh, there we go. He's slowly making his way back up front. So you got to ask the question here, Wendell Trey. When you go back to green here, do you look out front, or do you look in your rear, rear view to make sure you're not going to get ran over? I, I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes you feel like, maybe if I just overshoot the corner and they don't wreck me, I'll be fine. It's like we got another car stopped in turn three over there for some reason. Uh, look like Eric had to let some cars by. Yeah, I think, uh, Thomas, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think at this point, as soon as this race is over, I, I just, I see, uh, I see there being some blood splattered over the, the Mickey house. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say uh, Eric's probably got a few choice words for his uh, older brother. Yeah, um, none, of, none of which we we're going to be able to say here tonight. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you not to pull him in for a random interview. <laughs> Uh, Andrew, an uh, avid Batman fan, he might need the power of Batman tonight to save him. I don't, I don't even know that Batman's going to save that. But uh looks like we've only got maybe 15 cars on the racetrack. How many we got out there? Well, we've got 14 on the lead lap at least. So. we got 17 making laps currently. going to be 18 when this car rolls off pit lane there. I believe that's the 18. Yeah, Paul Ross just rolled off there. 
Okay. Well, we started the night with 30. We're down to 18 turning laps. Hmm. Almost half the field still in the lead lap. Not terrible, but with the amount of cautions, it's to be expected. So. See if we can get one clean run in here, boys. Just get this one in. Well, we got lights out. We got them stacked up too wide. Coming into three. Pace car dives down. We're going to stack them up, I believe, for the 14th time tonight. Once again, that eight knows how to get the restarts done here. As a cost, oh, there's a round on the front straightaway. We're going to have to be careful this kind of caution. This can cause a yeah. lot of havoc. Yes, it can. Going to have to let the pace car by. Or oh, nope, no, they're going to go around. Very true. Looks like they're going to make one more lap before they have to wait for the pace car. Yeah, I'm not... This is, uh, if you're unfamiliar with iRacing, if you have a yellow, I think they may have made it far enough to this not be an issue, but, um, if you have an early yellow like that, right when you go back from green, it can, uh, play havoc with the, the service, um, the service trying to determine where the field was. It kind of messes with its, uh, internal coding a little bit. Hopefully that won't be the issue here tonight. I'm going to hit you with a race summary. We have 14 cautions tonight for a total of 66 laps. Uh, we have run almost half this race under caution. Thank goodness it's not Pocono. We're uh, we're 167 complete. We've had 10 lead changes. Uh, Richard Lafferty leading the most laps with 65. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he's probably got that locked up, Wendell. Yep, that's uh that's a wrap. Uh, the next closest guy is Tanner Sharp at 27, but with 32 to go, the math just does not add up. That's math even we can do. True. We don't need no stinking errands. Oh, so we, should we uh, go ahead and jinx some people and take some bets on who we think is going to get it done? Uh, no. As, as Corey Lindsay gets the uh, wave around there. Sure, I mean, I feel like, uh, I feel like the Flying Finn gonna rebound here and steal a win. Well, I think, uh, assuming the 86 dumps the 8, I think you'd be right. You know, I, I'm, I'm gonna put my money on that number 3 car. He's got the freshest tires up there, uh, shown a lot of speed in the race. I think the number 3 can pull this one out. Oh, we got Johnny Thomas coming in, and I quote, Don't jinx Richard. <laughs> well, I didn't pick him. He's fine. Johnny, unfortunately, uh, whether we jinx him or not, he's got an 86 near him. I'm, I'm kidding. Naturally. But not really. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> now we're poking fun. It's Martinsville. Now there, uh, there was no shortage of beating and banging tonight. Without a doubt, these these cars will be uh, maybe used again, possibly Bristol. That's, I can see that maybe, but other than that, uh, they might junk a few of these out after tonight. We got a car sitting in turn two. He's gonna get it going again. I think that was Corey Lindsay, was it not? I don't believe so. Yes, yes, it was. Okay. Got that wide angle lens right now. We're lights out. We're going to stack them up, rack you know them what, up. You know what, Tom? It's kind of been busting on Andrew a little bit, but uh, he's got old tires and he's been able to hold his own out there on the outside. Uh, particularly on the restarts. Not too shabby. Oh, well, he's going to have to do it again. His pace car is down. All right. Lapperty hit the gas. Didn't get it. Didn't get a jump like he did last time, but... I'll tell you what, Andrew, just, jump. Yeah, he just needs to give up trying to <laughs> to guess that start. He's got a big pile up in the middle of uh, one and two there. They're still wrecking. And the cost out. Yellow's finally out. Who we got this time? 
Uh, looks like the 48 at least involved again. No, it looks like the 10 was around before the 48. Looks like the 2 tried to make it uh, 3 wide there, going into Ooh. the corner. And that just didn't work. That's not Niner. gonna work here. Oh, uh, then the 18 hits the 10 again. Okay, yep, yeah, well. Looks like the 10 just never got going. He was probably in shock that he just got dumped three wide. Oh yeah, the uh, 18 popped the 10 after the caution was out. Uh, 10 got into the 48. Hmm. There'll be a lot of uh, I'm sorry messages sent after this one. All right, well, we're working caution number 15 for 72 laps at this point. That uh, still 10 lead changes. Well, no one can get around the 8 now because he's the master of restarts here. It's going to give Andrew Mickey a shot at it again, though, because he's going to be on the inside this time. And I know people are wondering, all these cautions again, any more cars on the lead lap? Uh, unfortunately, no. 15th place is three laps down, so... Probably gonna end with about 14 cars at the moment on the lead lap, so... Probably gonna end around there, maybe less, depending on how the finish comes. Now, we do know, uh, Trey Wendell from the previous races, um... Once we get in the 10 to go window, the admins won't throw a yellow. But judging by some of the carnage tonight, I don't think they'll have to throw one yeah, if we won't. have any more on track shenanigans. They won't need to. Uh, our racing's been on point. Yeah, they were sleeping at Daytona, but not here. Making up for it, maybe. They can stop at any time. So should we give them the good news or the bad news, Wendell? Uh, let's just smack them with it all at the same time. Well, uh, the good news is this is pretty much how a Martinsville race goes, give or take a few cautions. The even better news is we'll be back tomorrow night with a Three Rock Series doing it all over again. All right, Dino Mike. How many laps we got tomorrow night? Another whopping 200. Oh, my God. Something tells me there might be an admin letter that so comes we got out pace uh, car down. urging people to not be aggressive tomorrow. Coming in three and four. Lafferty getting that big, hey. big jump. Kevin Finn with a good jump, though. Ooh, yeah, gonna shut the door on Andrew. As the seven is gonna be around, caution will be out again. And the two, and caution's out again. Wow. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, uh, oh my god. What, what limb are you going out on there, Wendell? Uh, that really, really big one. And what is it? Do tail. Oh, just a big limb, that's all. We're just going out there. Oh, We're gonna oh, hang okay. out, you know. Oh, okay. As we are now working caution number 16. Uh, in the last, let's say the last 30 laps, how many have we run green, gentlemen? Uh, not very many. I'm gonna say one. Four? Oh, it's it's almost like that. Brian Vickers is here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian Vickers and Jamie McMurray. Ooh. No cut tires involved here, though. Nope. Oh. Just a couple cut feelings. I haven't mentioned him, but uh, Brent Miller's moved up into the top five. He's currently running fourth. Yeah, and he's uh he's been a recipient of a a turnaround downtown tonight. Uh, 
It looks like uh, Wade Lear and Carlos Acosta is uh, going to take the wave around here. It's been a um, up and down night for that two car because he was just battling in the top, what, five, just a mere ten laps or seven cautions ago, and uh, now, now he's having to take a wave around. You know, it's races like this that makes you appreciate that uh, incident cap. Indeed. Without a doubt, I'm pretty sure the admins themselves are probably thinking, yeah, that sounds really awesome. Now, I will say this. While I'm out here on this really, really big limb, uh, I'm kind of curious as to see what the incident count for some of these cars is. Ooh, should we make a guess on that one? I think that's better than picking the winner. I, I don't think we can guess numbers high enough for some of these guys. That's the true. Who are we going to pick? I think... Uh... That's a tough call. I feel like the two has at least 18. As we've seen him involved in, I believe, four separate incidents so far. Um, I know the 86 has at least, at least 12. I'm going to say the two has t over 20. Well, I guess we'll have to see if we can pull up the results after the race. I believe there's a 15 minute window on that. Oh. No, that's well. your protest window. Oh, that is the protest window, isn't it? Which, fortunately, you can't really protest a league race, although there's a no, few people tonight who might be filing a league protest. Yeah. Base car dives that's down. Base car's off again. Now, this is the question. Uh, they just threw the caution again. Now, that's interesting. Must be, must try to, uh, back of the field, must not caught up from the way rounds there. That's going to be a little weird with the pace car. Oh, we got Donnie coming in chat. He's calling the 86 to win this race. At least I'm assuming that's what you're calling him for. Or <laughs> the highest incident cap. I, one way or another. Say, so, I think there might be chiming in on the incident count now. All right, pace car dives down one more time. We got 15 to go. 14 to the line, gentlemen. How long are we going to stay green? All 14. All 14, let's go. Uh, I don't think so. Gotta have hope, Dre. I, I do. A uh, pretty clean start. Uh, Andrew Mickey looking to take second away from Flying Finn. Until he goes in and the corner and to. pops the eight gets, after door banging that leader, 14. Nice little shove. A little love tap then. Uh, there's our man, the three, Trey. He said it. Fresh tires working his way up here. Of course, at this point, they all have heat cycles on them, so... Very true. Oh, and uh, Donnie clarifying that. Uh, he's saying he is going to be the winner for the incident cap tonight. Can't bet against him. I don't know, though. That two... I, it's, I think it's a toss-up between the 86 and the two. Which, if he keeps hitting the, keeps hitting the eight, he might <laughs> surpass the two. Well, when you dive-bomb the outside Only of the outside. corner like that... Don't think that's how you win a Martinsville race. Been watching a little too much Brad K, apparently. Well, unfortunately for him, he's going to burn those tires up and allow the three to get around him. As uh, the three makes the look. Yeah, smart move here is just to tuck in behind the three and let and him go worry about the three just the did eight. exactly what everybody else in Man. the field wanted to. Oh. 86 hard into the wall. Yeah, that's going to end his chances. Yeah, that's that's you know, and that and that's another thing. If you yeah, if you think about it, you know, Andrew Mickey coming in here as a rookie, running with these guys who, you know, could have potentially been running together for years, and they're seeing him drive the way that he's been driving tonight. They're not going to take well to it. Yeah, nothing he really did wrong there. Just um, kind of got pushed up in the three. Just a little love tap on him there. Just sent the car around. Uh, that, to me, is a typical Martinsville ex accident. Just the fact this has happened about tw at least 15 times now. So patience getting a little thin with some of these guys, I'm sure. <laughs> we got Donnie coming in the chat. And I quote, I win, boys. <laughs> yeah. I think you're right there. 
Looks like so uh, good. We should just make him our intern. Yeah. Looks like the 48 car getting the free pass here. I one know of, that. One of his many laps back. He's only a lap down. He <laughs> might get a. He might get back on the green. I don't believe lap. This keeps up. Might well, see another it. yellow, and this joker should about be over with. So. By the time we go green, we should be five to go. And I think that the next flag, the next caution flag, will end it. So and I know Richard. Do, they don't do green white checkered. So no. for the love of mercy. No, it Richard will be Lafferty. Over. I know he wants the green to come out by. <laughs> and have one green flag lap, then a caution. Because right, with the jumps he's been getting tonight, he uh, he won't have any issues from the three immediately. No, he's well, definitely I, had the field under control under that. I would like to see this thing go green in the end. I'd like to see Tanner if he's going to be able to get uh, get around Richard. Yeah, no, and don't, uh, don't don't sleep on the fourteen. Well, I tell you what, I was going to fix to say, don't look now, but that number six car, Eric Mickey. He's back. Running P4. Chad Brown running P5. Man. Have you ever? No, I have uh, never. I actually have never. Well, maybe once. Yeah, tonight. I've done a fair share of these, and I've seen right, a couple well, go this way. We're lights out on the pace car. We're going to be working five to go with the green flag. I'm really, like Trey said, I'm really hoping that we're going to finish this under green. I would love to see some some quality racing to close it out here tonight. That pace car is down. Lafferty going to be looking to get that, that big boy jump here. He does. You're green. Good jump Let's keep by clean. Kevin. He's gonna be able to take that second spot from Tanner. Ooh, yeah, Kevin. Ooh, Eric with a little turn there. Kevin been really stout on his restarts here, Trey. Yeah, he has. Ooh, 14. Ooh, Ooh almost had the look Boy. there. You can't leave that door open like that. As the 32 runs high through four. We're gonna stick with this this action up front though. putting it down in there keeping it clean that's how you make a that's how you make a run into the corner right there that's how you don't make enemies <laughs> hey what that 14's not letting that 8 get away he is not he's gonna stick it in right there oh a little bit out of shape oh, yeah, let's check him up spot. 6 gonna get underneath the 3 They got two laps to go. At 14, I think that probably cost him a shot to win. He's, he's His Lafferty's in the wall. I'd hate to say be aggressive, but he now needed that's to That's going to allow the 14 right up to the back bumper of the 8. Oh, six cars sideways. The six is out. The three the is collected. Stretch. That's the white flag, though. No caution. No caution. Is the 14 going to get desperate here and go for two in a row? We're not even going to worry about the wreck. We're going to watch the race for the win here. No, he's going to be civil. Indeed. Richard, Richard Lafferty, Lafferty, please report to Victory Lane. As the carnage ensues in front of them. As a Lafferty, you're winner of the Nathan Young Designs B car. 200 at Martinsville Speedway tonight. Man. As yeah, somebody blows their engine. Uh, several cars. Oh, the 90. We got the 6 down here blown <laughs> up. The 32. Quite a few there, Mr. James. Maybe some uh, post-race stuff going on, but... We're not worried about it. We're going to watch Richard Lafferty make his victory lap here. Uh, and I am going to, while I'm out here on this limb, say the only car with no visible damage to it. <laughs> As the two going to come up here and try to give him a little bit. <laughs> and that is a win for uh, Johnny Thomas Racing. All right. Well, uh, Trey, who who we doing the rando on tonight? Oh man, I don't I don't know. I'm taking uh, any ideas, any suggestions. 
I, oh, oh, there's the gosh. damage. He's uh, Jimmy Johnson in that car. I'm sorry, like, uh, I, I was paying attention to the battle for the, the win, but the two car ended up P3. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. I'm gonna have to. I'm thinking maybe uh, Tanner Sharp. Let me go see if I can find him. Well, Wendell, that was uh, eventful, to say the least. That was very interesting. Um, we we know this league hands out post-race penalties. Uh, we get the emails just like the other league members, so uh, going to be some interesting water cooler reads. I, Thomas, I feel like we're going to be reading emails for days. I think he might run out of characters for his post. True. As, uh, yeah, we've got, uh, we got oh, Richard, uh, couldn't, couldn't bring home a perfect car. We had to a little damage on it post race. I'd like to point out the fact I have gotten a hold of the uh, results with the incident counts. Oh Lord, have mercy! Well, before we do that, let's talk to this man right here. Yeah, I ran into uh, Tanner Sharp. Uh, finished sixth, uh, Tanner. We actually thought you had a shot at the win there at the end, man. Tell us what happened. Oh, we had a shot at the win, definitely. And uh, uh, coming to the uh, white flag there, uh, I looked at the I looked at the replay, and uh, it looked like he got loose. And I I thought it hooked him, but I guess I didn't. Uh, he got loose coming off the exit of the corner there, and and it created a big disaster, like a demolition derby, something you would see at probably like Talladega or something like that. But uh, although it was great, it was a great points day. That was the main goal: is to get good points, and because uh, we had a dismal finish at Daytona, we definitely should have ran better at Daytona. And uh, good points day, led laps, and feeling the feeling the momentum right now. Thomas, sorry, I had my coughing fit there. Yeah, solid run for you. Well, up until that point, Tanner, uh, we knew you had the freshest tires at the end and we're going to make the move, but uh, just kind of got caught up uh, with Eric Mickey there. Like I said, this is kind of solo spun, but um, uh, I was trying to get a good question. He kind of answered everything. I'm kind of off guard here. Yeah, it, uh, it, it, your heart kind of had to drop uh, out of your out of your chest there when, when, that, uh, when you pitted and you were the only car to pit. <laughs> but uh, you did a good job of picking your way up through uh, through the field. Yeah, definitely, and it was just all about patience. Uh, cause it was about, I think it was like 30 laps to go, and we were getting all these cautions too, and my only biggest worry was something was going to happen right in front of me, and I was going to get involved in it. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to see when in these cockpits around the corner to see who's, on, who's where on track, <laughs> especially with smoke around, but... Uh, Although it was a great points night for the uh, number three Mountain Dew uh, machine. Thank you to the uh, RK Motorsports Group, uh, Three Wide Racing League. It's a uh, great points night. And, uh, yeah, you're looking forward to the uh, next race in, the, in this B Series and hopefully looking forward to winning another championship. All right, Tanner. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right, looks like it's time to queue up the third place finisher. All right, uh, let me go grab our third place guy. While he does that, Wendell, should we announce the winner of the highest incident count? Mm. Let's do that. Who we got? Well, oh, to, be, do, 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 do. to be fair, he's actually going to bring him in here in just a few seconds because it's I our it. third place finisher. I knew it. take a guess on the number? Anybody in chat want to take a guess on the number? Yeah, uh, Donnie. I want Donnie to, to guess on this number. What was the incident number for the two car? While we uh, all right. while we wait for Donna to answer that, we got Trey. All right, Carlos. Uh, kind of an eventful night for you tonight. Um, I'm sure you didn't make a whole lot of friends out there tonight, but you still brought that RK Motorsports car home third. Tell us about your race. It's uh, definitely up and down. I uh, try to stay in the back and uh, Keep keep people you know from not not uh, hitting into me or me hitting into other people and then towards the end of the race, it's some people just wouldn't go on the restarts. Others uh, would run into me because another person wouldn't go. And towards the end, 
I got very fed up. I, I uh, tried to make things that I normally wouldn't do, but I'm not going to regret it. It's Martinsville. That's how you're supposed to race. And uh, at home with a very, very beat up car. At last time I checked, at least two, point, two minutes and 45 seconds of optionals, but never a required. Uh, I may wreck cars, but I'm not a bad wrecker. I don't get required. Well, Carlos, we saw um, we saw that your teammate Tanner looked like he was going to be the uh, top leading RK Motorsports uh, car that night, but uh, you snuck in there at the end and stole it away from him. If you can get a camera looking at like the in car of that replay, you can see exactly what I did. That never works out, and it somehow worked out. But I, it's just rookies being rookies. I think uh, that's just what happened and caused that whole big wreck. And Thankfully, I got through it and managed to finish third, but uh, we tore up a lot of race cars that probably didn't need to get torn up and uh, uh, gave, gave away a top three finish to a person who probably deserved it because he had the better tires. He just couldn't get a long enough run for him to do anything about it. All right, Tanner, before we let you go, let us hear those shout outs, man. I want to give a shout out to everybody in the RK Motorsports facility. Everybody uh, works in three wide racing. Uh, Nathan Young. Uh, Corey Lindsay, I want to I want to give a shout out to Rooster Teeth who today uh, they released uh, season the first episode of season 15 of Red vs Blue, uh, which is, was on which was on Jess's car and on, on, on my on my on the side of my cars and whose yesterday was their 14th birthday. So congrats to them. I want to thank Tanner for doing a very great job trying getting getting us a lot of TV time there. Uh, Jess, who unfortunately we're still having a couple connection issues, we're trying to narrow down what it is and what it isn't. And most of all, thanks to you guys. You guys are always uh, are always going to be broadcasting us. It's going to be fun. Can't wait to see these replays. All right, Carlos. Appreciate it, bud. Thank you. You too. All righty. All right. Are we going to announce his incident number? We got a drum roll. We got uh, Donnie oh. guessing 23. We got Mac Kingston guessing 31. Uh, Hugo looking for the 69. Okay, Matt Kingston's disqualified because he has insider information. Yep. We uh we do have a caution I'm sorry, caution an incident count of thirty one for the two car. So he oh is your winner. He's the winner wow. tonight. Now before we get second place in here, how many did the eighty six get? The eighty six I think you're everybody sit down for this. I think you're gonna be surprised. Okay. Only eighteen. Fake news. Fake news. He wasn't even the second highest. We had some guys in the 28s. All right. Well, oh, let's, wow. let's get the flying fin because I know these guys are ready to go to bed. I don't know about you guys. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm already in bed. Because we're going we're gonna to rack them up, do this again all over tomorrow. But here he is, the flying fin himself. Rolled off. What, what does Trey call it? Tail in Charlie. Uh, started dead last tonight. Came home P2. Kevin, tell us a little bit about your night. Man, I had one one hell of an eventful night tonight. I, first off, I spun the car and turned four in my qualifying lap, so I started last in the field, and I knew that was going to be pretty bad. With the, I knew there was going to be quite a few wrecks, but not as many as there were tonight. And yeah, I got caught up in a wreck early on, and, it, and I was like three laps down. I had to tow and everything, and Spent the first 120 some odd laps just trying to get my laps back, and eventually I did, but I still had some damage. And, and um, yeah, I eventually made my way up the field. And those cautions at the end there was just catching up, catching up, catching up. And then, then I feel really bad about my wreck with Johnny Thomas. I tapped him in the quarter, and he just broke, he just died off the off the turn. So I apologize to him. And um, yeah, those. That restart in the last was really fun with Richard and Tanner just racing for a hard win there. Yeah, I know I had mentioned to uh, Trey there, it was, I mistakenly thought you were a lap down at one point again, and there you were battling for a top five. I couldn't believe it after, um, I couldn't I know, all the, I know all the cautions helped you out, but just to uh, be able to make it back through and get that car repaired and still have something to drive up front. Oh yeah, man, it was just about surviving tonight, really. It was just wrecks all over the place. We don't really see that in this league. Well, I know you got to feel pretty good, Kevin. Uh, when Daytona come in here, uh, I, I would guess uh, talking to you before the race, you'd be surprised if we tell you you're going to finish P2. 
uh, definitely should be the points leader re leaving uh, this place. Uh, how excited for you the rest of the season? Well, I'm already in the chase, which is very, um, you can lay back and pull some strategy calls. So it, it should be fun racing with these guys the rest of the year. And yeah, I got confidence in the next races. We got, we got Atlanta next, which is a really cool track with these cars. So it should be fun. All right, Kevin. Well, uh, congrats on uh, finishing second. Uh, we look forward to seeing you back in these uh, Nathan Young cars at Atlanta in a couple of weeks. Yeah, thank you, guys. Still amazing. I guess that's why they call him the Flying Finn. All right, well, we got one more to go. This man led 98. Of 200 laps tonight. Rolled off the grid. P12. Brought home the grandfather clock. Richard Lafferty. How you feeling tonight, man? Feeling pretty good. These races aren't easy to win, so I'm pretty happy. Oh, no, and, we, we saw that tonight. They're definitely not easy to win. No, and, and we we called it early in the race. We we saw you march your way up through the field methodically. Uh, up until the point of uh, victory donuts. Uh, no damage on the car at all. I know that's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, the, I had the uh, Jimmy Johnson victory donuts. The crew chief told me to go and knock the recorder panels out of it. I don't, mm. I don't know what. I'm not really into the tech of the car, but that's just what he said. A little Johnny Thomas uh, shenanigans there. I'm not gonna say the car was too low, but I'm not gonna say it wasn't. Yeah. All right, Richard. I mean, how many times? Uh, I mean, you did a very good job of uh, varying your restarts. I know you caught uh, Andrew Mickey trying to second-guess you a couple of times and uh, was able to let you get away. But uh, I know it's got to be nerve-wracking when you know you got a car that can win the race and you got to keep restarting this thing over and over again. That's got to be a little frustrating for you. Uh, yeah, Andrew was definitely being pretty aggressive on the restarts, which I had no problem with. But, uh, yeah, part of me was getting frustrated with it and then part of me was like i know there's guys back there that got four or five lap pressure tires and i got like tanner tanner was fast and he had pressured rubber so you know it helped wind the laps down for sure without having to race for him all right richard well uh this this win tonight locks you into the chase uh how are you going to approach the uh rest of the season Try to get some more of these. Like I said, they're not easy to get. We got some some pretty high IR guys in here. So anytime you get one of these, you earned it for sure. Uh, guys like Cameron. And uh, I'd like to thank Kevin for racing me clean there at the end. He was on a little bit fresher tires. He could have gotten me in a couple of those turns probably. And he didn't, so I appreciate that. And that'll definitely be uh, on my mind when I race with him the rest of the year. And uh, now we just try to go get a couple more wins and just keep the momentum rolling. All right, Richard. Well, congrats on uh, the win. Uh, go celebrate with some of those Martinsville hot dogs with uh, Johnny Thomas. I uh, I hear he's a big fan. Johnny is a, I guess he's a big hot dog fan. We, we don't don't have a lot of hot dog dialogue on our team, but uh, everybody loves Martinsville. It's, it's a cool place to win, and uh, I'm pretty proud of this one. Well, I've, I've actually heard that Johnny Thomas loves to talk about the wiener. <laughs> Johnny Thomas, I'm not going to say that he loves to talk about the wiener, but the uh, wiener is in his vocabulary for sure. <laughs> Without a doubt. Uh, all right, Richard. Uh, good luck, man, and uh, good to see you in Victory Lane. We look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks here in these uh, Nathan Young cars at, uh, at Atlanta. Yep. Thank you to Nathan Young. Thanks to Johnny Thomas for making it fun. All my teammates are uh, – De facto teammate Kyle Hanshaw and uh, everybody in the league for, for participating. It was a good time. All right. You just heard from your winner. I'm going to run you through the results here. Uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Trey, when, uh, when should they come back to see us again? Uh, we will be live tomorrow night, uh, 945 Eastern, I believe, for the Three Rock Series all over again here at Martinsville. Uh, I think they'll hopefully, still be cleaning the track. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's a little bit cleaner race tomorrow, but we'll see. We shall see. And uh, with that being said, 
We're going to start it up at 9.45. We're going to bring you action at 10 p.m. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be myself, Trey Landry, Thomas Morris, bringing you all the action of the three wide series. We're going with three rock Canadian racing. Guest. Oh, I'm hearing that a confirmation. We may have a Canadian guest tomorrow. You guys are in for a treat. But uh, join us here, same place, same time, tomorrow night. We got three rock action coming at you. You will uh, you will not be disappointed with that. But uh, for Trey, for Thomas, I'm Wendell. Thanks for joining us. We hope you have a good night. See ya!